uh, Cake Lady here. Actually, today I'm going to be the Cookie Lady. Um, the other day, or about a year ago probably, I got this country, uh, Cook's Country uh, cookbook. This is uh, the people who also do all Amer or the American Test Kitchen. They also have a show called Cook's Country. Um, kind of the same premise as America's Test Kitchen, but um, more of a southern home cooking kind of feel to their food. So anyway, last night I made a really good recipe out of here called, uh, it's chicken cordon bleu, which, sound, which sounds really fancy, really hard and intimidating, but they make it super easy. <clears throat> my kids loved it, my husband loved it, so I think that's one that is going to go in my keeper pile. Um, and as I was flipping through it, I found a recipe that I've been wanting to try for a while. Um, it's for, put up here. The black and white cookie. So, if there are any Seinfeld fans out there, you know about the black and white cookie. Uh, apparently, it's a very popular item that they have in New York delis. And um, in this one episode of Seinfeld, they're in a bakery in New York, actually. And Seinfeld starts talking about how everybody needs to look to the cookie for uh, racial harmony. So. You know, I'm not going to get political or anything, but in this climate, in today's, you know, we can all look to the cookie and um, maybe take a lesson from that. So the, the key is to get the same amount of, of white glaze and chocolate glaze on the cookie so that you can have like good equal parts. Seinfeld said you got to have, the trick is to have the same amount of white and the same amount of chocolate in each bite. So, um... We're going to get started on this. They make really big cookies. This actually only makes 12 cookies in this recipe. So they're going to be pretty good, a pretty good size. Um, about 13, 14 years ago, I went to New York City and um, actually brought home a couple of black and white cookies uh, for my husband as kind of a, an inside joke. It's kind of a thing we have. And so um, I'm going to make these for him. We have some friends coming over tonight for dinner. I thought this would be kind of neat to have as the dessert. I'll probably put some chocolate or vanilla ice cream with it as a side. Or maybe cookies and cream to kind of keep the black and white thing going on. Um, anyway, it's a real simple recipe. You have um, flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt mixed together. Um, I'm going to cream my sugar and my butter together add my egg and vanilla, and then I'm going to alternate, this is the key ingredient I think, I'm going to alternate my flour mixture with uh, a third cup of sour cream. So I'm going to go flour, sour cream, flour, sour cream, and then finish off with flour. Mix those together, bake it, let the cookie com cool completely, then I will make my glaze. The glaze consists of powdered sugar, milk, corn syrup, vanilla, and then cocoa powder for the chocolate part. Um, the cookbook says to make sure to do the vanilla first, chill the vanilla glaze until it gets firm, then add your chocolate and then let that set in room temperature for uh, until it sets up. Um, and then you'll have the black and white cookie. So let's look to the cookie and get started. Mm, I love the smell of bakery. Oh, look, Elaine, the black and white cookie. Mm. I love the black and white. Two races of flavor living side by side in harmony. It's a wonderful thing. See, the key to eating a black and white cookie, Elaine, is you want to get some black and some white in each bite. Mm. Nothing mixes better than vanilla and chocolate. And yet still somehow racial harmony eludes us. <laughs> if people would only look to the cookie, all our problems would be solved. Oh, your views on race relations are just fascinating. You really should do an op-ed piece for the Times. Hmm. Look to the cookie, Elaine. Look to the cookie. Okay, I got the cookies all measured out. Um, as you can see, I've got exactly 12 of them. Um, the book or the recipe said to use a 12 or make 12 cookies using a quarter in a quarter cup measuring cup um, so I got just barely enough to have 12 cookies um, so what I'm going to do now uh, is I'm going to put them in the oven for about 15 to 18 minutes and I'm going to rotate them 
uh, one rack about halfway through so they get baked evenly. Now I'm going to hope and pray that these make a circle um, cookie. They kind of flatten out and make a, a true circle because the recipe did not say to shape them in, this, in a shape of a ball. It said just to drop them on the cookie sheet. It's a very thick, stiff cookie dough. It's sticky. And so to try to make it into a ball would have been very difficult. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to bake these and then I'm going to let them cool completely before I make up the glaze to make them into the black and white cookie. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to get back with you on the black and white cookie. Uh, last night we had some friends over and um, we had black and white cookies for dessert along with um, some ice cream. It was really good. Um, I got kind of busy getting ready for our company and so I didn't show glazing the cookies. I didn't show that process, but basically it's very simple. You make the glaze and then you take a knife or an offset spatula and just spread it on there. I did the white icing first, or glaze, really it's not icing. And then um, I did a little over half of it and then I let it set up for about 15 minutes in the fridge. Um, and then I added the chocolate icing. Now, um, when I was mixing up the glaze, it seemed really thick. So I added a little extra milk than what the recipe called for. Um, then it was almost too thin. So I would say if you're going to make this, probably just go by what the recipe says and everything will work out. You want it to be a little thick. It was dripping all over the place and made a big mess. Um, and probably wasn't quite as thick as I would have wanted it to be. But I have to say, um, I've made a lot of cookies. I've ate a lot of cookies <laughs> over the years. And the cookie itself was probably the best cookie I've ever eaten. And I'm not saying that to toot my own horn because I made the cookies. Um, it was a super easy recipe to follow. Anybody can make this cookie. And the result was a delicious um, sugar cookie. It had a great texture and it was great, a good amount of sweetness. Um, you can make them a little bit smaller. Like I said, these made a huge cookie. It's like almost as big as my head. <laughs> if it gives you a lick of reference point. Um, I used a fourth of a cup, a fourth cup scoop to scoop out the dough. Or, yeah, I guess it would be dough. <clears throat> anyway, um, it was just a lot, a big cookie. So I think you can make them even half the size. Uh, you can decorate them with the glaze, or you can make some chocolate, some white, or you can make many um, miniature black and white cookies, and I think they still be great, um, which is probably what I'll plan to do in the future. I'll make them a little smaller because that's a big cookie for one person. But um, all of the things that I have made in my Cook's Country cookbook so far, just been two things, but both things have been amazing. Now, um, obviously I can't give you the recipe itself because it's in the cookbook. They probably want you to buy their cookbook. So I can't just share with you the recipe in the description below, although I would love to. Um, I think I got this at Costco, maybe Sam's. One of those type of places have books like that. Amazon probably has them. Or you could even probably look up black and white cookie and get you a good recipe there. But um, black and white cookie, big, huge hit in my house. Like I said, probably one of the best cookies I've ever had. Um, and I would, I would say that if anybody made it, just not myself. I don't want you to think I'm like, you know, like, oh, I made the best cookie. It was the recipe. The recipe was excellent. So um, anyway, big hit here. Chicken Cordon Bleu from the Cook's Country Cookbook was also a big hit with my family. Uh, so I really recommend that cookbook. Uh, anyway, just wanted to let you guys know what we thought of the cookies. And we have two left. Made 12. Everybody had one. Sent a couple home with our friends. We have two left. So um, they're, I say they were a big hit. So anyway, if you haven't had a chance, go ahead and uh, like this video. Subscribe to my videos, to my channel. Um, tell your friends. Uh, it's a, I think it's a fun channel. I enjoy making these videos for you guys and involving my kids in the process. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And um, just from my kitchen to yours, have a wonderful morning.